I became involved with the Children's Heart Foundation after my son Kane was born. He was born in 2015 with multiple heart defects and after his first surgery, it became pretty clear that he was going to need some additional care and some additional surgeries at Boston Children's, and so we stayed. So we were ultimately there from October until January. After his third open heart surgery, he just couldn't get enough oxygen to his brain. We realized that he was not going to be coming home. Just the level of care was, it was exceptional. I mean, he had really great nurses and doctors and including Dr. Keir. That's where we originally met. Unfortunately, some patients that we treat um, who have congenital heart disease, who for whatever reason um, are at risk for brain injury, that might be from um, low oxygen levels during an operation or um, during an event that they have, like a cardiac arrest, for example. I became very interested in studying ways that we could treat brain injury and found a few mouse studies that had been describing the application of hydrogen gas to decrease the amount of brain injury that can happen in a patient. We began by writing a grant to the Children's Heart Foundation, which was actually funded and funded our very first work in this space, which was a pig study. We completed a pig trial in which we created an injury like the one that my patient had experienced and we applied hydrogen to a group of those pigs um, and showed that hydrogen did indeed significantly decrease the amount of injury that had occurred in a pretty dramatic way. So we published that and then we were able to um, acquire funding to do a next, the next phase, a first in human trial of hydrogen. After that successful first in human trial, um, we've now gotten funding from the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, to complete um, a phase two clinical trial at two hospitals, um, Boston and Texas Children's Hospital, applying hydrogen to children who are very much at risk for brain injury after a cardiac arrest. I am a very strong advocate of the importance of research in our field because, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of people that focus on things that we see in adults. And our little ones, our field that gets bigger and bigger and bigger every time. Our patients are not little adults. They don't have the same comorbidities. They are not patients that develop heart disease later in their life. Our surgeons are different. The size of the hearts are different. Everything that we do in our field, it's very different than what we do in adults. And when you're trying to make a change, when you see things over and over and you do a lit search and you find that there's nothing out there, there's nothing published that you can use to help your patient, it's discouraging at some point. Like, how can we help this patient get better? How can we change our practice so that our outcomes are better? If Dr. Kier's research would have been available or if he was part of that trial seven years ago, we would have absolutely signed off on him getting the IV hydrogen that he needed to potentially help his brain function and to keep him with us. It was devastating to find out that had Kane been born seven years later, there would have been a fighting chance for him. We have patients right now that survive through adulthood that years ago will die as a newborn with no surgical options with no other way of caring for them because someone is bold enough to think about what if, what if we change this, what if we do that? That's the importance of research. People are often surprised um, how expensive it can be. Typically, if we're thinking about a clinical research project that's prospective or moving forward in time, like a clinical trial, for example, the entire timeline from the time somebody comes up with the idea or the question to designing the project that needs to be done, getting all of the right approvals in place, performing the study itself, looking at the results, that can be more than a decade. And if we're specifically looking at how this looks in pediatrics, it's often much longer. It's not unheard of for a pediatric study, specifically like a clinical trial, to take 
10 to 20 years from start to finish. And that's often what philanthropy supports, that extremely important kind of pilot work that will feed a bigger submission or a bigger partnership with an industry company. And so what Children's Heart Foundation and other organizations like it are doing is providing a means for new investigators and old investigators who have new ideas to get started. And that's a really important role because without that, people like me would just drop off. It really does give me so much hope. It gives me so much hope for all of the kids out there because as you know, there is no cure for this. And every day there's people out there not giving up on our kids. And I think that is just, you know, something that we can all really feel good about and celebrate. On behalf of the Children's Heart Foundation, its board of directors, its leadership volunteers, and all those who serve the Children's Heart Foundation. We want to thank you for all that you are doing for our great mission. Thank you for what you're doing today, tomorrow, and in the future.